Sinking a modern supercarrier isn't just about the nuke. It's a three-act tragedy. First, track a floating city zigzagging across millions of empty ocean miles, dodging satellites and subs. Then, outgun its layered defenses, Aegis missiles, fighter screens, electronic warfare. But say you land a hit, what then? Cold War tests like Operation Crossroads proved even 1940s carriers like USS Independence shrugged off a blast a half mile away. The Saratoga, gutted by shockwaves, took hours to sink. Today's carriers? Reinforced hulls, compartmentalized decks, and damage control drilled into muscle memory. A near miss might leave them charred but floating. A direct hit? Maybe. But here's the kicker. Even a surviving carrier becomes a radioactive paperweight. Crew fried, systems melted, mission dead. So yes, it could float. But would it matter? Victory isn't measured in hulls afloat, but fleets broken. Subscribe for more hard truths.